Hey everyone, this is Office. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play your classic Sega Master System games on your Sony PSP. If you are new to the channel, do click the subscribe button and help us reach our goal of getting 1000 subscribers. Thank you. The Sega Master System is the third generation 8 bit home video game console that was released by Sega in 1985. The Master System was the direct competition to the Nintendo Entertainment System NES. Even though the Master System have a much superior system capability during that time as compared to the NES, it only managed to sell between 10 to 13 million units worldwide. The original Master System placed both cartridge and Sega card hardware, but in the later model, the Sega card compatibility was removed to cut the cost of the console. There were 360 games officially released for the Master System before it was discontinued in 1996. Some popular games for the Master System includes Alter Beast, Outrun, Golden Axe, and Alex Kid, which is one of the built-in games included in the system. Them. In this video, I will show you how you can play your classic Sega Master System games on your Sony PSP. As always, I will go through the installation guide, game configuration and my game recommendation for the Master Systems. This method is easy to install and it will work for all PSP model running on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, do check out the link on the top right and on the description to see how you can safely install your custom firmware on your Sony PSP. Alright, use the first link in the description below to download SMS Plus for PSP. The file will be in zip format so you will need a WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the file. Here I've downloaded it onto my desktop. Using WinRAR or 7-zip, extract the content onto your desktop. Now, you can go ahead and delete the zip file since you won't be needing it anymore. Open the SMS Plus for PSP folder. There's a few files and folders here but we will take a look at the ROMs folder. This will be the folder where we will put our backup ROMs games. I have included some ROM hacks for you to check out. If you have more game ROMs, copy and paste it onto this folder. Getting your ROMs. ROMs are digital copy of your physical cartridge. For the Sega Master System, the ROMs will be using a .sms file format. ROMs can be obtained by extracting it from the original cartridge using a cartridge dumper. Alternatively, you can download it online by googling Master System ROMs. Archive.org is also another good place to find your ROMs. Here I have some Master System ROMs. Cut everything and paste it onto your ROMs folder. Next, insert your Pro Duo memory stick onto your computer. My memory stick is E drive but yours could be different. Double click and open up the PS3 folder in the memory stick. Next, open up the game folder. Copy the whole SMS Plus for PSP folder into the game folder in the memory stick. Once it is done copying, safely eject the memory stick from the computer. Insert your memory stick onto your PSP. Turn on your PSP and as always run Profast Recovery to ensure that we are back on custom firmware. Give it a few seconds for it to do its thing, let it finish and restart. Now we are back on custom firmware. Scroll to game and scroll down to SMS Plus. Press circle to run the SMS Plus emulator. The main menu will load. Use the L and R trigger button to navigate to the menu. Here you can go to the game section to select and load your games. Under control is where you can adjust the game control setting. And on the option tab is where you can adjust the game display. Play around with it to see what works for you. Let's load some games. Using the R trigger button, navigate to game. Scroll down to the game and press X to load the game. Let's load the Street of Rage 2, also known as Bare Knuckle in Japan. Street of Rage 2 is a side-scrolling beat-em up game that was released for the Sega Genesis and Sega Master System in 1993. The main difference between the Master System version and the Sega Genesis version is that it uses two action buttons, jump and punch. And for the third special action button, you need to press both buttons together. Pressing the L and R trigger button together will bring you back to the menu. Press the R trigger button and go to save and load section. Here we will save our current game. Select a slot and press square. Now the game is safe. Most Sega Master System games during this period do not have any save function. To load the state, select the save and press square to load the state. Now we are back at where we last saved. Having a save state function in this emulator can be very helpful especially when used before going into a boss fight. To load a new game, press L and R trigger button together. It will bring you to the menu. In the game section, scroll down to the game and press X to load the game. Let's play Hang On. This is a motorcycle racing game and was one of the first games released for the Master Systems in 1985. Next, let's check out Alter Beast. Ported from the arcade version and was released for the Master System in 1988, Altered Beast is a side-scrolling beat-em-up game that takes place in ancient Greece. 
In this game, player punch, kick, jump and fight their way through 5 levels of mayhem fighting the undead creature and monster to finally defeat the demonic god Neph. Here's another classic game for the master system Golden Axe. Similar to Altered Beast, Golden Axe is a side-scrolling hack and slash video game released in 1989. The game takes place in a fictional land called Yuria, where three heroes with their own special skill and abilities is tasked to rescue the princess that was kidnapped by the evil forces. Another one of my favorite games for the Master System is the Michael Jackson Moonwalker. Released in 1980 on both Master System and the Sega Mega Drive, this game follows the storyline of the Moonwalker movie which was released in 1988. In this side-scrolling beat em up game, you control Michael Jackson as he uses his special magic attacks and spinning dance kick on enemies as he search and rescue children that has been captured behind the hidden doors. I personally like the music soundtrack for this game as it plays the 8-bit version of classic Michael Jackson songs such as Smooth Criminal, Billie Jean and Beat It. And of course, we cannot forget about Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog is one of the most popular franchises for Sega. It made its first debut on the Master System in 1981. In this game, you control Sonic as he ran through each level full of obstacles while collecting golden rings. The sequel received an upgrade 2 years later on the Sega Mega Drive and it was running on 16-bit hardware. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 eventually broke the video game sales record by selling 5 million units in 60 days of its release. And there you go guys, that's how you play your Sega Master System games on your Sony PSP. If you're looking for more PSP emulator hacks and mod tutorial, I've created a PSP emulator tutorial playlist in the description below, do check that out. With that as always, remember to subscribe to the channel, share the video and leave a thumbs up on this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.